What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, the JJ Search, coming at you with another video. All right, guys, so this is it. Last day of Chapter Focus Week. Here are some testimonies from various chapter members of Chapter Focus Week. My favorite part about CFW would be just all the people that I've gotten to meet and getting to know everybody from my chapter. Part of Chapter Focus Week was the fellowship that I got to have with the Oakland guys and the Dearborn guys and all that different stuff and it was great to see the worship community, people coming together from all different races and ethnicities and different backgrounds. It was just so much fun. I encourage all of you to come on out. My favorite part of CFW was just, you know, all the free time, and general fun and tomfoolery we got to do, um, going around, playing volleyball in, uh, when it's like 35 degrees, um, in the sand, in the water, uh, going to Narnia, which I'm pretty sure is the resting place of at least an infinity stone, like Excalibur or something like that, you know what I mean? There's, there's something hidden in there, I'm gonna find it. Um, yeah, just spending time with all these goofballs. It's been, it's been fun. I'm Philip, and uh, my favorite part of CFW has been being on part of the worship team. Um, it's just so much fun to uh, worship God with uh, other people that are just seeking after Jesus. And, uh, I got to use uh, some of my skills to be a part of that and to be part of that worship team. So uh, that was that was my favorite part. My favorite part of CFW this year was just the really strange way that God answered my prayers. So, like, two days ago, I prayed for a better relationship with God and for a better relationship with others. And I thought that would be the end of it. But no, um, I had to go through so much pain, so much struggle, and I opened myself up to some of the people around me. And through that, I was able to mature myself as a person and I was able to just be able to open up to the people around me more. I'm understanding more about what more relationships are, how they're beneficial for everyone, and how God is calling me to do better relationships, to have better relationships with the people around me. God's unrelenting force and just how he doesn't give up, give up on anybody and for me personally I was a bit resistant and I was angry towards God when I got here but through his love and his power I came around and now I'm feeling great and it just my life's been changed I guess because of this trip and I met a lot of good people and I just had a great time to be honest. CFW um, was definitely to get to know, uh, getting to know all these people way better. Um, we started off the week and like I had only known these people in a school setting and then all of a sudden about Wednesday you got to kind of see the tired loopy side of them which was just really amusing and they got really quirky and just like started having a blast and from there on out our conversations grew deeper and our thoughts like grew wider and we were just able to continue on way better than we had been before. So we really, I really enjoyed getting to know people and seeing like their eighth layer of everybody and just loving on them and just having some really great conversations.
My favorite part about CFW were the worship services. My favorite part of CFW this year was the uh, Retreat of Silence because I actually went out onto the trails and went hiking all by myself, which normally when I go hiking I hike with other people. So it was kind of nice to go by myself and just be able to appreciate God's beauty in nature and also have that quiet time to talk to Him. I felt very at peace and I was able to wrestle with some things I was thinking about in His beautiful nature. My favorite part of CFW was probably the quiet times because it we live in such a fast-paced society that it can be hard to like stop and slow down and appreciate what God's doing in our lives. And that was where I got a lot of words from God and we had a good talk. And it really gives me something valuable to take home because the retreat of silence is something that's not very common. more Christians should do and that's something that I hope I can take back to campus and teach other people how to do it because it's really worth it. Virtual silence can be so My favorite part of CFW would have to be the way that talking to people and interacting with people and uh, the, 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 the tracks like synergized really well. So essentially like the tracks would have you like think about questions and then you might not be able to get them answered by the track themselves, maybe not until tomorrow, but then you'd be able to go and talk to people like through dinner and like at late at night and then you'd just be able to talk about the questions that you have and I just thought that that was really cool. My favorite part about CFW is definitely um, the track time. Uh, we went through Mark 2 and I just really got to dive into like the second part of Jesus' life and the last two weeks of his life. My favorite part of CFW was Mark 1 and Narnia. So I learned in Mark 1 that you really have to keep a soft heart and listen to God. Instead of hardening your heart. And that was the biggest takeaway message for me was keeping that soft heart so I can continue my faith walk with God. My favorite part about CFW was hanging out with the community. My favorite part of chapter 4 this week was the retreat of silence and the worship songs. My favorite part about CFW was just being able to spend time with God, listen to His voice, and know what it is that He's calling me to do um, moving forward. Uh, just being able to grow, grow closer to him um, and build a better relationship with him and also um, lay down those idols that I had previously been worshiping at his feet and just be able to serve him um, to the utmost. Back at home, it's pretty much kind of, you know, a lot of old people boring just hymns and stuff. And this is such high activity with tons of people my age just like dancing. It's like a party and it's just absolutely amazing. You can really feel the spirit whenever that happens. I took a lot away from the CFW um, versus last time. And a lot of those things were um, things that I had prayed to God about and was seeking. So I went into the CFW searching for healing and growth in some areas, um, and I definitely think he 
gave me that. I just hope those things stick with me um, and carry on when I go back and acclimate back into my regular life. Um, so some of those things were, I saw signs for one of the first times in my life. Um, I can't remember any other time really, so it was really cool that I was able to see those things and then I talk to friends about it and kind of confirm them to see that I wasn't reading into it because I overanalyzed stuff. Um, another big component for me this week was something that one of the track leaders said. Um, they said that they weren't getting something in life and they felt that they weren't getting that because God was telling them that they needed to lean on him more and not rely on themselves because he's the provider. So that really stuck with me because I always had tried to kind of provide for myself and make myself not reliant on others. Um, but you can't do that for everything. You need to go to God with those bigger issues. Um, and then I think if I had to sum up my whole CFW this year into a few words, I'd say like hope and trust kind of go together though. Um, just kind of hoping that he has a plan for me and trusting in that, that it's true um, and not wavering from it, not trying to go my own selfish ways, but just surrendering myself to that plan because I know it'll make me happy and fulfill me. Um, and that's what he has planned for me. And then I think the other thing would be prayer and forgiveness. Um, I used to kind of just think of them as separate things, but I learned over this that for prayer to be true and powerful um, in its rawest form, you need forgiveness behind it, um, whether that's forgiveness of others or yourself. final CFW and I've had a lot of great memories, a ton of good experiences and God moments. Um, it's a little surreal right now. This is the Friday morning of my last ever CFW. It's kind of bittersweet. I've had a lot of great moments. Uh, just a ton of fun with the guys. Uh, I guess if I had to pick one, probably two things that I'm going to miss most about CFW, it's I guess just feeling God in, his na in nature and kind of how he intended us to connect with him and how I want to try to, you know, want to bring that connection back to my everyday life. But just the connection I felt with God here is just something I'm going to forever miss about CFW. And then, of course, the community here, um, just feeling so at home just feeling like one big family with people that I'm not related to is something that I'll treasure forever and that, um, that feeling uh, that family at CFW is something that cannot compare so yeah uh, for everyone else that's watching this keep coming to CFW God will show you something new every time All right, guys, those are the testimonies. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed them. I'm um, getting to uh, see a little glimpse of how God changed our lives this, uh, in this little uh, week. Uh, for me, my favorite um, thing about Chapter Focus Week was the, all the prayers that we did together, um, getting to meet all my ca uh, chapter mates, and getting to meet other uh, members of other various chapters around Michigan. Um, seeing like how God changed our lives and um, changing our hearts, opening our um, eyes and um, speaking to our ears. It was such a wonderful experience and um, I really want to thank God for everything he's done for me this past week. So I want to thank you guys for uh, continuing on the journey, being interested in the uh, vlog and um, 
Hopefully you guys can watch uh, some of my future vlogs. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment down below. God bless and uh, take care.